Okay, the Aussie Yen, again, has been... Now the Yen, the Yen is... The Yen is a safe haven currency. The Aussies are confidence currency. So these two work um, in opposition to one another, these two, the two currencies. So they make for, it makes for a good instrument when in, in, in periods of sort of extreme uh, sentiment. So what's happened, you can see the, on the daily here, the, the big decline uh, through the structure at 76.50 in the Aussie Yen. This all looks similar to the Aussie dollar. Uh, the US dollar is just a bit stronger than the yen, but the yen has um, held its own really. That's the Aussie yen on the weekly. You can see where you can see we are, where we are then, and. This big level here, 74.57, the bottom of this spike, um, that is going to be our structural short point. And then we have 74.57, and the next, the next stop is the 71.84. So we're just holding above this 74.57 now. Um, let's go to the daily and have a look. You can see that level there, 74.57, stands out like a sore of thumb. And as you can see on Friday, we just got some price action either side of that. And we've got to see how that resolves itself going into the beginning of a new week. The structural short is 74.57. The structural long is this structure here, which is 76.50. Okay, two clear levels there. There's a big shift in, uh, in power from the sellers to the buyers from this level, and the same thing here. Um, nice, big, obvious levels we want to take advantage of. Okay. Again, same sort of scenario. This was the end. We've had big moves and then consolidation. There's the 74.57 then. As I said, after the move, we've got some noise around the level. We've been trading either side of that significant point for the last, for the last four trading sessions. Very clear buy point where we would expect some short covering to take place at 75.25. Going long at 75.25, your long stop can be at 75 the figure, just incorporating as many of these, these highs as you can. So the 75 is your long stop, your long point is 75.25. On the other side, on the short side, remember, the short side is where our bias lies. We'll be a little bit more aggressive on this. So we want to make sure the market moves. We've basically selected a point here that is below the significant level. That significant level is 74.57 that we've indicated from the daily. And the this very short-term structure um, that came back to hold the market side and you know, where we moved up from, we came back to test it and then just consolidated for the rest of the balance of the session. That point is 74.43, so that is going to be your short point. Obviously, there's a more conservative short at the one day low, but this one is valid in its own right. Okay, 
So 74.43, and you've got a nice tight stop on there, being the significant level of 74.57. Okay, if you go short at the one day low, your stop is still going to be the 74.57. That's the reference point within this price action here. Okay. It's a nice setup. Um, and with that Aussie yen, you got some pretty, pretty big um, levels from the daily here. To guide us uh, through there. Structural long Aussie yen 7650. 